This is demonstration number eight from the Aviation Textbook, Advanced Airmanship, Book One, Precision Flying. This demonstration examines the effects of three control methods on a jet fighter landing on an aircraft carrier. The methods are pitch only, power only, and coordinated pitch and power together. Initially, the aircraft is 40 feet below the glide slope, and each correction is begun at 135 feet above the deck. The first correction will be with pitch only. The second correction will be with power only. Notice that neither method is successful. The final correction is with both pitch and power together. And this method is successful. The pitch only correction does not sustain its initial change in direction, while power only does not change the flight path early enough. Only both pitch and power makes a rapid and sustained correction. If pitch only is applied first, adding power later will be too slow to correct the flight path. If power only is applied first, it is hard to imagine that a pilot would not also make a pitch correction when he determined that a short touchdown will occur. The fatal error in a carrier approach is making a pitch only correction without a power change. The quickest and most precise method is coordinated use of both pitch and power. Power only, followed by pitch adjustments when airspeed or angle of attack is, a, is out of limits, will work, but not as precisely as both pitch and power together. 